come to the school, there's uh, security here, friendly security. They know who I am, I know who they are, I know her teachers, I know some of the staff, and it's just a friendly place to have your child. Why don't you tell me how um, you were um, personally impacted by the program? What did it mean for you and your family to be a member of this program? Well, me being a single parent, it allowed me to um, go back to work and know and have that peace of mind that my child is in a safe um, place while I am at work. And stop. Nice work. Great yeah. job. Okay, should we start over now? Hi, I'm Heather Bellavosa Leahy. My daughter is a first year student in the STARS program here at the Bertha Alice Center, which is a really unique program for special needs children. Apple. You need an apple? No. You're right, it is apple today. Yeah. That's for me. Yeah. Take a bite. No for mommy, thank you. Good job. All right, let's see what you so, have. This program ended up being the perfect program for us because it has the therapists on campus who come, as well as teachers with therapy training, small classroom, um, a lot of personalized attention, and within the first week our daughter was doing things that therapists within one year hadn't been able to get her to do. So everyone at this program really is a hero to us because it has made our daughter be able to have a normal life where she can start building skills that will help her in the world at large. Hey Kenny, thanks. Why do you volunteer with the JCC Mills on Wheels? I think it's important to give back to the community. These are residents who have uh, no means of getting out for themselves. And so for us to drop by once a week and spend a few minutes with them and deliver a hot fresh meal, I think is the most important thing we can do for them. I enjoy it very much. Do you feel that you have a tremendous impact on their lives? Absolutely. I know that uh, just uh, the conversations that we have each week, I know uh, light up my life, which I know lights up theirs. Do you feel that you have a positive impact on the people that we oh, serve? Oh, most definitely, sir. Most definitely. And what's the best way we impact their lives? Keeping them alive, feeding them. <laughs> what impact has the service had on you, on your life? Uh, <clears throat> The, uh, it's, uh, it's good, it's very good for me because, you know, I need a help and now I have a help. And to come here and eat, thanks God, thanks to JCC, you know, because it's a lot of help for me. What impact has being on the program had on your life and your health? I think it really helps the senior uh, very much and then also it also helps uh, the people who are diabetic. Leonardo, who got number two? Show it, Leonardo, show it to I'm the center administrator here at Hardy Head Start. Okay, and Henry, tell us a little bit about how the foster grandparent program impacts Hardy Head Start School. Wow, they they are very instrumental in the day-to-day -day functions here. These grandmas, the children, first of all, um, they look forward to having the grandmas come in. When the grandmas miss, <laughs> where's grandma? A lot of times, when the families come to these programs, they feel, you know, it's a safety. It's a safety thing for them. And I think a lot of the, the people from the community, they're aware, hey, look, y'all are doing good for the community, you know, we, you know, they respect us, but um, the community, the, I mean, it's a pretty bad area. It, it really is. Is this program important to you? What have you gotten out of the program? For the eight years that I've been in the program, I have enjoyed it so much working with the kids because some of the kids, you don't know what kind of home they come out of and you have to know how to deal with them. And uh, I just want the kids to know that I'm here, I love them, and I would like to see them go on from Head Start to elementary and high school, college, and make something out of themselves. 
What was the most fun thing that you did? Can you think of something that was a lot of fun? Football. Playing football? Right. Hi. Hi. Marketing. Nice to meet nice you. Nice meeting you. And I work with RSVP, which is a wonderful organization in many ways. Well, there are two opportunities that I participate in. One is with Crossroads with incarcerated youth, boys 10 to 17. And I've been with that for about a year and a half now, I believe. I also go to Johnson Middle School, which is a magnet school, and I tutor twice a week, a class twice a week with the eighth graders. I have uh, six to seven students at my table. They each have two questions, and we cover that. And what that does for me, it keeps me away from dementia because these children will certainly challenge one and being an older person that does not hurt to be challenged at all. My How do you feel being a senior companion volunteer? Well with me I feel wonderful because it gives me something to first to get up for in the morning time. It gives me a chance to get my exercise and get out into the fresh air and then go to help someone else. Now what kind of impact has the Senior Companion personally had on you? What has it given you? On a fixed income and with the stifling pay it helps me to buy my medication and help me to do other things that I couldn't do if it wasn't for this program. Mrs. Morgan, why, why do you have a senior companion come to, to visit you? Because it, it helped me every day from being depressed and just someone to talk with and be around, and I look forward to that. And what impact, what impact is, does it have on you having Annie come? Because it, the impact on me is that uh, I wouldn't have to be sitting here alone about to go out of my mind, and it's just a blessing to have her to come and sit with me. So I really appreciate that to the highest. You look forward to having Annie come, knowing that she's coming each day? Oh, yes, I do. I really do. I look forward to her coming. When I know she's coming, I get kind of happy. And when she gets ready, I get kind of sad because <laughs> I've missed her. Kid Zone. <laughs> fulfills everything a child needs after school. Homework, gymnastics, playing, they see their friends, they do arts and crafts, they do everything. Instead of being sat in front of a television with a babysitter until the parents come home, they have a lot of things they can do and learn. And I love Kids Zone. My name is Kennedy and I'm eight years old. And I'm Deborah, Kennedy's mom. Kennedy, what do you like about Kids Zone? Um, I like the swimming pool, the racquetball court, the gymnasium, the gymnastics, and, um, and I like doing theater. Do you like it? My favorite thing about Kids Zone is that when it's time to do your homework, you could actually sit down in a quiet room and the counselors are there to help you. I like um, the snacks and <laughs> how you get to do your homework and what can be done. So when you go home, you can just relax and read books and stuff.